Yo, what is up everybody? Spanish Sean here. Thanks for tuning in to another video. This is the second video of the two controversial ones. Though honestly, the Cuphead one was the most controversial thing. Because Xbox, PlayStation, Cuphead, etc. Though again, some people might find it a little absurd at least to spend this kind of money. I don't. It's kind of useful. You know, I used to be one of those people. Until, you know, I tried a few of them. Thanks to uh, having worked at Game Shop. And I would say for a PlayStation 4 era, the Astro C40 was the best one. Now, we're going to try this because Astro hasn't made one yet. Honestly, that is the reason why I got this. And I couldn't care less for the scuff one. Sorry, I just don't. Um, also, as you can see in the background, the current... Uh, tablecloth situation we got going on that's something you would know if you watch my unboxings anyways uh lastly just want to apologize if this is a little off uh things happened and uh kind of had to dub over the video instead but nonetheless let's get started and here we are the playstation dual sense edge controller or the playstation pro controller whatever you want to call it I am very excited. So, first, let's look at the contents right here. As you can see, pause at your needs. Uh, the back side. Um, to me personally, what stood out the most, which is something that you could do with the Astro controller, the replaceable, the replaceable thumbstick modules. Because of that, you know, you basically have a controller for life until uh, you know like the buttons wear down and stuff like that but more realistically you will wear down the thumbsticks before you do that also means that eventually hopefully somebody makes hall effect sensors for them thumbstick replacements and or maybe even weighted ones etc etc now don't mind me struggling here we had the jump cut and everything but here we are. Pretty nice white box. And it is very nicely wrapped package. And we'll take a quick peek down here. Okay, just your instruction booklet. Nothing too special. But uh, trust me, we gave it a look. Probably something not a lot of people do these days, but always read your instruction manual, people it's very useful very very useful and uh if you'll give me a second here i'll give you a little bit of a zipper asmr but not before i explain to you that uh that back part piece is a a spot where you can actually just open and charge your controller now it is a little bit hard to do this without uh, one hand pretty sure I ended up jump cutting around here but you'll see me open it and then kind of pointless since we haven't even fully unboxed the controller yet so you'll see uh, the controller all nicely wrapped up but ideally you can charge your controller while it's protected in its case that is a uh, top notch top notch so Enjoy the zipper ASMR, I promised you. And we're back. And here we have first look at the controller wearing its nice little nightcap. Up top we have the controller cable. It is uh, longer than the standard one included in the PS5. And I personally won't be using it. I'll be using a charge stand. Here we go. Took out the controller, look at the accessories. This little piece right here. Meant for the cable over there. Might work with others. About 100% guaranteed to work with the included one. We'll get to this in a moment. But that is one of the second important pieces I would be excited about. Even if I'm not gonna use it, I just think it's great engineering. You know, you get your standard back paddles the left and the right. You can peep at the four other thumbsticks in there or 
caps, I should say, since two of them are already equipped. Those little half nubs are other, abil not abilities, but options for the back. Instead of battles, you have half nubs on the back, which I am going to use personally. It feels great. You can see the three trigger stop points on the back. And then uh, here we're going to dive a little bit into uh, how easily replaceable thumb tricks are. Again, harder to do with uh, one hand, but you ideally, first you would actually remove your thumb caps. Then you would hit the release button. Because then uh, otherwise that happens, you might accidentally close it again. Once you do, pop it open. So open those levers on the sides, the little silver ones. And then push up on that little thing and done and then you would replace it back with the new one obviously i'm just sliding in and out the old one but this is what i mean by how easily serviceable it is sure if you know how to solder you can replace your own thumb fix at all times but this is so much more user friendly again make sure you put in the cap back on correctly and then lastly the controller cable bit Put the cable inside the housing, doesn't matter which way, it's a USB-C cable. Make sure you clamp it down. And then before you slide it up, you gotta plug it into the controller because you'll see there's two feet inside. Now, I wasn't smart enough to uh, remember this at the moment while recording this, but yeah. It took me a second to show you that, hey, yeah, there's the two little feet that I'm talking about. Again, it's harder to plug it in with one hand, but once you do, you plug it in, slide up the lock, and uh, yeah, your cable is locked in. The only way uh, that cable is coming out is if it comes out of the console itself, and if it comes out of the console itself, you might have bigger problems. But that is all I have for you today, folks. As you can also see here at the end with the controller, the, uh, the design across the touchpad, which again I laid over as a thumbnail for you. Thought it was really neat. Let me know your thoughts, and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace. P.S. I want to give a big shout out to Mystic for his super in-depth review on this controller, especially about the software side. That is where this controller shines the most compared to Scuff and anybody else. I highly suggest you give that video a view. I should be right here. And again, thanks for tuning in. Catch you on the next one.